It is game day eve. Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. Jerem Jordan alongside Dave McCann. Now joining us, the all-conference sophomore guard from BYU Women's Basketball, head of the WNIT with Rice tomorrow night, live right here on BYU TV at 9 Eastern. Nani Falatea is in studio. What's up, Nani? How you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Uh, you're about to go to practice. You guys mm -hmm. always uh, practice early, so we yeah. appreciate you taking a sec. Yeah. You're like in uniform, ready to go. Yeah, awesome. uh, we're also in a uniform. It just looks a little different. But right. uh, what was it like when you found out, hey, we're going we're gonna to keep playing here in the 64-team WNIT? It was exciting, you know, um, everybody wants to keep playing in March, so it's just, we're lucky that we get to. I know the Gonzaga game and the way it ended down in Vegas was not how this team wanted the season to end, and so you do get that chance, kind of a fresh start to come out and, and play Rice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to be really nice because, you know, you never want to end a season like that on that note, especially when we know that's not how, you know, we should play, and we know we're a lot better than that. And getting a home game is pretty cool. Um, what's it going to be like to, to continue that and hope to have a couple games here? It'll be nice. You know, even like the last our last home game, you know, we don't want to go out on a, a loss like that here in Provo. So it'll be nice to be able to play in front of our fans, our family. As a sophomore, you've been asked to do a whole lot. Score, defend, run the team. <laughs> there have been highs. There's been lows. What have you learned the most about yourself over the course of this season? Um... I guess that I'm a little bit more resilient than I thought. You know, I think um, there's a lot of things that we as a team have dealt with that um, they're not really easy things to deal with. And um, definitely had the support of, like, you know, all my family, but my teammates and my coaches. So, you know, it's been a lot, but I'm grateful that we're still keep keeping going. How was that transition for you from kind of role-playing freshman on the best regular season team BYU had ever had last year one of the best teams overall, to, okay, I've, I've got to score a lot, and you became an all-conference guard first team. Um, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was too crazy just because, um, you know, like last year I didn't play too much, but I practiced against Paisley and I practiced against Shea and Maria every single day. So it's not like I was going up against, like this year is not so much different than what I used to play against last year. Like I played against some of the best players in the nation every day. Scoring points have been a challenge for this team over the course of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, are there times where you look, you would look at Lauren and you tell each other, we both have to have really good games <laughs> yeah. to win this game, which puts a lot of pressure on the two of you, especially when one's having an off day. How do you deal with that? Um, me and her, we just have a really good relationship of trying to help each other out. Um, when one of us isn't really having the best day, it's, the other one always grabs them and is always like, hey, let's go. Like, we got this. It's me and you. We got this. So it's just me and her that we've built that connection of, like, we can help each other get back into things. What is something about Lauren we don't know? Because she's been such a stud this year, and uh, she could set the NCAA single-season record in rebounds if she gets 32 in the course of this tournament. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's something we don't know about her? Um, probably that she's actually a really good shooter. Nobody would really think that because she doesn't shoot threes in the games very often. Um, but, like, we'd go through a drill at the end of the practice. It's called 100 threes, and we're all just shooting threes. And I'm always close to her in the drill, and she makes almost every shot she takes, but she just doesn't shoot in the game. So nobody would really guess that, but she actually has a really great shot. More threes from Lauren yeah. Gustin. More yeah. threes. Let's go. That's I know. I'm trying to pull it out of her. <laughs> <laughs> when, you know, you're not mic'd up when you play these games. So when you're out there talking to each other a few times this season, did you ever go, hey, Lauren, you're out rebounding their entire team. Nice job. Do you ever have those kind of exchanges out there? Um, often, yes. <laughs> you know, she does that quite, quite a few times, and um, it's just funny. Like, in the middle of the game, I'll just look up and be like, wow, you're killing everybody. <laughs> like, good job. <laughs> we, we watch rebounds like we haven't before. Um, right. mm -hmm. Maybe since Kyle Collinsworth getting tripled, that was kind of deal. Um, big game with Rice tomorrow. Um, what, what's, they won this tournament, I believe, uh, a couple years ago. Oh, really? What, what is uh, kind of the scout on them, and what do they do well? Um, I know they're um, a pretty athletic team, and they got some key players. Uh, they're kind of inside heavy. Um, so that's going to be a lot on Lauren and Emma and Rose and Amanda. Um, but also as guards, we really need to focus on boxing out, just not get, letting them get any second chance points. So. Beyond tomorrow, you've got a huge recruiting class coming in. Mm -hmm. You're joining the Big 12. And your first year head coach will be a second year head <laughs> coach. Uh, how do you feel about the future? I'm excited. You know, it's going to be nice. Um, 
we'll have a new squad next year, of course, with all the new players. Um, but it'll be good. Um, you know, I'm really happy with um, the team that we have right now. And that, we're, you know, this year was kind of like my freshman year all over again, trying to get used to things. Um, but it'll be nice to have, you know, kind of a year under our belt with all these same people, same, same staff, same players, you know, a few additions, of course. But um, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Talking to Nani Falatea, head of BYU and Rice tomorrow in the WNIT on BYU TV. You mentioned your family. Uh, I read you're the second oldest of eight. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you spoke Chinese growing up? Yes. <laughs> Very cool. How, how good's the Chinese at this point? It's not so good anymore. Was no. it elementary school? <laughs> yeah, elementary and middle yeah. school. And then I went to East High, and, yeah. which was kind of out of the immersion program. So I kind of lost it there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And I just heard you, your brother's uh, in the MTC now going mm -hmm. on a mission? Yeah. Is he the first? Yeah, he's the mission? first. How's it, how's it going emotionally? That's you know, it's a little tough, yeah. honestly. <laughs> Is it tough for sisters to drop off brothers? Yeah, I mean, I think it was tough for all of us. Like, I have three little brothers um, outside of the one that we just dropped off. So I think it was hard for them, too. You know, it's their big brother. It's their, you know, that's who they are My sisters the celebrated when they dropped me off. <laughs> really? <laughs> they're like, get him out. Party. <laughs> he's gone for two years. <laughs> What's his name? Where, where's he going? His name's Michael, and he's going to the Marshall Islands. Very cool. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. That's, right. a, that's a unique one. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you can get BYU TV there, which is fantastic. Yeah, yes, you can. Yeah. Brandon <laughs> Overender, a men's volleyball player a couple years ago, went to Oklahoma, but he spoke Marshallese. Because oh. there's a, he said they invited him to play volleyball one time. He dominated, then he was never invited never again, invited. which is crazy. <laughs> um, okay, so for this, this tournament and, and this uh, end of season situation, what are you guys hoping to accomplish to sort of springboard you into what Dave was talking about, which is a very exciting next season? Um, we want to win as much as we possibly can. You know, if we could go all the way, that's what we're going to do. And, you know, that's always the goal. We want to win. Can you give us one line in Chinese? Um, Ni hao, what y'all fang yani? So hello, and then something. Hello, my name is Lil. Very, nice. Very nice. There we go. When Jimmer went to uh, the <laughs> Shanghai Sharks, we looked up how to say, "Just pass me the dang ball." Oh really? We thought, That's all. Bat yo ge wo. I have no idea if that makes any sense or if it's any good. That's, <laughs> that's what Jimmer taught you. No, that's what we felt like Jimmer needed oh, to learn. He needed to learn. Just pass me the ball. He yes. doesn't need anything else, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> with this group this year, it's such a fun group because you got like the Kiwi wings, right? Mm -hmm. With with Kaylee and Ari. And uh, do you ever feel like you fit into the Kiwi mix there with them? You have to integrate <laughs> into New Zealand culture? I mean, Polynesian culture, yes. <laughs> so. and, and what's your background with Polynesian culture? I'm Samoan. You're Samoan. Yeah. Awesome. What, um, it's been fun with women's golf. We're seeing more um, Polynesian influence. Women's basketball, BYU, more Polynesian influence. What's it like as, as uh, we, we see from the Salt Lake area and surrounding areas, more Polynesian athletes uh, come to BYU and other places? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I, I enjoy it, and it's always nice, you know, when a, like even like Alyssa Peely down at Utah. Mm -hmm. I know we don't like Utah, but <laughs> you gotta support She's other poly it. girls. Yeah, she, yeah, you know, it's it's just nice to see poly people succeeding. It's yeah. nice. All right, give us three keys to winning tomorrow against Rice. Three things that gotta happen. Mm, we have to box out, limit their offensive rebounds. Okay. Um, we have to get six kills, and um, that's just three stops in a row. And um, we all have to move well on offense, move off the ball. Okay. What do you average in kills per game? Um, I think five. Five. So if yeah. you get a little above that, yeah. you're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, best of luck tomorrow. Thank uh, you. 9 Eastern on BYU TV. We appreciate the time. Thanks. Thanks yeah. for being here. Enjoy practice. Thank you. <laughs> it'll be a little harder than this. Yes. But enjoy it. <laughs> Just yell, bacio gay wall, and no one will know what you're saying. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs>